Hey everyone, today we're ranking the weapon cooldown animations. I thought I would redo it as the original video had Hawkins gameplay in the background, for some perspective there. We'll also be including cosmetic based animations and some alternate variations of the basic attacks this time round too. Plague is still my lowest placement. I find this animation very basic, with her just kind of readjusting her hand on the chain of the sensor, and not much else really. Executioner is next, which is a surprise surprise given his impressive looking weapon. The animation for it is quite boring though, with Pyramid Head just lifting the knife a bit and kind of looking at it. I get that due to its size nothing too fancy can be done, but this is a bit boring. Wraith has a very simplistic animation where he lifts his weapon and brushes the end with his finger and thumb. This one is very simple, but I do like his more subtle and careful animation compared to others. Dredge has a fairly boring animation I think, and is one of the weaker parts of its overall sound and visual design. It kinda wiggles the arm about, there's some creepy cracks and stuff, but visually not the most interesting. Twins have a slightly nicer animation, being this cool flick action. I tend to like the ones that flick a bit less, but I do think this one is a little cooler than the others, and can feel satisfying. Huntress has a rather simple animation, where she lifts her axe to her arm and wipes it side on with her sleeve. This one isn't the most engaging aging, but it does fit her well I think, and the fluid motion is quite menacing. Skull Merchant has a fairly basic one, with her just flicking her dual blades off to the side. I do think this one reflects her character well though, with her just ridding herself of it without even a second thought, like she hasn't just slashed someone. It reflects her ruthlessness well. Sadako, despite having a simple animation, I do kind of like, with her scrunching her hand up with lots of tension and anger. It's small, but it feels very fitting for her, so I kinda like it. Legion has a pretty simplistic animation, where they wipe the knife twice on their arm on both sides. This is just a fairly satisfying animation, and just makes a lot of sense for them. Pig has a similar animation with the same double wipe. I personally like this one a little more, with it being a blade attached to her wrist. It just looks a little more natural, I guess the word would be. Nemesis Yell. Nemesis occasionally does this one. I'm not too sure what the requirements are. Personally, I don't like this one so much. I think it looks a bit goofy, but hey, at least it's a bit unique. He opens his arms out and yells or growls at the survivor. Oni's blood suck is a little more interesting than some others, and occurs when Oni's power isn't charged. He absorbs in the blood. It looks quite menacing and is unique compared to a lot of the other animations. Myers is one of the stranger ones, with him not even cleaning the weapon in any way. He just kind of stares at the knife and spins it around a bit. I kind of like it for that, he's just like inspecting or admiring his knife but still quite simplistic. Bubba's is a little higher for me just for its visual brutality. He flicks the hammer twice and you see blood fling from the end. There's something just very disturbing about it, and it just feels particularly brutal with the harsh flings he does. Trapper's is one of the most simplistic ones, and you're probably surprised to see it so high, it being a simple sleeve wipe but there's something that feels very satisfying about it. It's literally the default animation, but I actually quite like it. Artist's one I like a decent amount because it looks very fluid due to it being an ink weapon she uses. I like how it kind of whips back and needs to somewhat reform as it adjusts. Blight has one which is fairly cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the flicks he does, but I do like how he scrunches his fist up with his other hand. It looks like this pains him a lot, and the way he clenches shows off the constant pain of the light serum in a clear way. Singularity has a fairly cool animation, where it kind of jabs forward and readjusts its arm. This one feels like it could have been a bit more interesting or unique, but I do like how they made it look quite janky, and made sure the machine-ness was still present. Ghostface has one I like mainly because it just looks very clean, with the way he grabs the knife and slides his hand down the length of it to clean it. It fits him well and looks very efficient and satisfying. Knights I like a lot, partly down to it just being such a long weapon, because it's not actually that complex an animation, but it does look very cool and satisfying as he wipes the full length of the blade, and you hear the armoured hand drag across the metal. Doctor has one I like a lot for the fact that it fits him so well, being very menacing. The way he pats the bat against his hand is really creepy, as a survivor being pursued by him. It makes him look very sadistic, which again, makes sense for him. Wesker has a simplistic, 
unique but pretty cool looking flip he does with his knife, where he drops it down briefly and swings it back up. It's fitting for him, but doesn't feel too weightless or take away from his strength. Dredge, Bludgeon of Baubles has a different animation, with the doll hand kind of clenching together with these cool creaky sounds. The jankiness of the hand folding is super creepy, and I really like the alteration this cosmetic makes to the animation. Deathslinger has a very basic animation similar to Wraith's, where he wipes the end of his rifle with a thumb. One detail though is that he wipes the nameplate that reads Death to Bayshore, which is the name of the weapon, named after his old boss, Henry Bayshore, who betrayed him. So despite the animation animation being nothing special, I do like this aspect with him always wanting it to be visible, like it's his justification and reminder of why he's here. Nemesis does this ripple thing with his fingers and fist. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but I personally enjoy the look of it and the way he clenches the fist up. A bit like Doctor's Bat Bounce, it looks very menacing, especially with how he glances at it. Nurse has a very fitting animation, I think, with it being far more clinical and includes her taking two fingers to clean the length of the blade, drawing them along it. I like the almost chalkboard sound it makes, and just how fitting it is for Nurse. Cenobite has one of the most visually engaging animations, with his small portal opening after a hit, the chain flicking out, with it kind of whipping around in this cool way. The visual of the portal is the main thing that makes this one stand out. Oni's sword flick is the animation you get when you have fully charged blood fury. This animation looks very cool, with Oni swinging the blade off to the side with a sharp flick and a satisfying whoosh sound. This one is pretty cool. Demogorgon, much like Nemesis, has a scream cooldown, but Demo's one I think is far better, with it fitting it as a deadly creature, and because it opens its mouth up with its many teeth and stuff visible. The big claws and opened mouth actually looks pretty menacing, paired with the sharp scream. Skull Merchant Body Cleaver is a cosmetic-based animation. This one is quite cool, with it having a circular blade that spins after the hit, and Merchant kind of has to pull back the spring or cord or something to reset the weapon. I like this one a lot, and how she interacts with it too. Billy has a cool one with him tossing his hammer into the air and it spinning around. Things spinning looks cool with animations, and I like this one too. It also shows off Billy's kind of enjoyment, I guess, of what he's doing which is fitting, but also kind of sad seeing what Billy has become. Hags is higher up here for different reasons than many of the others. The animation itself is fairly basic, but it is probably the creepiest with her dripping the survivor's freshly drawn blood into her mouth. In lore, she needs blood in order to stop her body from petrifying, so her ongoing consumption of it makes a lot of sense. Skull Merchant Hydraulic Blade is a really cool animation, available with a cosmetic. This animation has her blade extend out from her arm and then recoil back with a fold. It's really cool. I like how it actually has more tech features to it and how smooth it looks. Freddy's animation I think is one of the better ones in the game, with him feathering out the clawed glove, with the creepy sounds of the blades rattling as he does. This one feels very fitting for him and is also a nice visual too. Trickster's is one I like a lot, partly because of how fitting it is for him, being much more elaborate and almost a bit too over the top with him spinning the bat around him, but also because it just looks very cool. Overall, very fitting for him. Clowns is one I like purely for the cool spin he does. <laughs> There's something just very satisfying about the spin, and it feels fitting too for Clown as a character, with him being more performative. Spirit, I think, just might be my favourite despite its simplicity. After hitting, her blade does this cool animation where it ripples back into the shard it came from piece by piece, each of the shattered sections disappearing one at the time. I also like how it raises and she kind of looks at it. Alright well that's gonna do it, I do hope you enjoyed, and let me know your own rankings or how you would alter these placements down below. Thanks, and goodbye.